because of people warning the population and understanding it, and understanding that mega rich want socialism and communism and collectivism and communitarianism and Agenda 21 for the general public to make us dependent on them, they sit international and are exempt from that and are exempt from taxes, as you see. Then they lobby for more taxes, telling the poor you'll get wealth redistribution with all this conspicuous consumption that they see and are licking their lips for if you get rid of the middle class who the poor believe is rich. They're actually the only group still employing the poor, still buying things from them. That service economy must be eradicated, and it is. This is a philosophy of total degradation. Now I will give you the top news. My point is <sighs> the globalist have been very arrogant and very out in the open in their white papers about vaccines that sterilize fluoride in the water to increase cancer, lower fertility, dumb everybody down. They have all been very honest about this because they have total contempt for you. Total contempt that you're not going to go read that because it's not, you know, the latest uh, sitcom or drama or woman show or men's soap opera, you know, that you know, basically is football. They think that you're, you deserve it, and so they just hide it in plain view. But because the globalists know that when they bring in this total collapse, people are going to get angry. There's going to be a move to restore the republic. There's going to be a move to, 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 to unroot them that have engineered this publicly, that they have built FEMA camps. They have continuity of government programs. They have mass arrest programs. They've tried to train the military and police to go along with this. They federalized things. They've put in the surveillance grid. And they've got different ways they can roll it out. A staged bio attack, a staged chemical attack, other terror attacks, mass shootings blamed on domestic groups. They've got a whole constellation of systems they can use to psyop people into going along with this. Because they've committed these crimes, they've committed this economic espionage, this economic uh, invasion, this, 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 this economic program of globalization, deindustrialization, and all of it so they can consolidate all power and leave no enemy standing. They see anybody with a business, anybody independent as the enemy. It's a scorched earth policy of kill the buffalo, let the red man starve. It's a scorched earth policy. Research what that is. Now... We have checkmated them at many levels because we saw their program, warned people, got laughed at, we didn't care. Now as it's beginning to come true, the credibility is rising. But that by no means means we're winning the war for liberty. It just means we're in the fight. And if you're in the fight, you've always got a chance to win. You've got to know your enemy. You've got to be motivated. You've got to do the research. You've got to be focused. And you've got to be dedicated. If we're going to beat these people, but we got the jump on them. They got the original jump on us as the offensive attackers. But because it was a covert operation they were running against us, many people recognized it, mainly in government, in Congress, in the military, and warned people. The old days, they'd kill you for this. Now they failed containing it. The information's out there, so they just went ahead and have, 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 have gone forward with a program of just letting it all be out in the open and trying to hide it in plain view. So because they're aware that we're awake to them and, and that the Federal Reserve is now the enemy, and as Brzezinski said last year, the whole world is for the first time awake politically and recognizing the puppet masters, not the puppets, they're just going ahead and flaunting it now. Yeah, we'll secretly arrest you. Yeah, we'll use the military on the streets with the NDAA. Notice more and more shoes are dropping. More and more red flags are going up. More and more balloons are going up. The system is testing this right now, right as the world economy begins to accelerate its implosion, right as the world government's announced. I'm getting nonstop chills here. I mean, we are entering history right now. And only by getting the word out about this information and only by being strong enough to admit what's happening and to speak out to others and to say no when you're in the military and if you're a police officer, are we going to be able to turn this around? America has been seized by very nasty technocratic social engineers who think of us as trash and who are totally bloodthirsty and ruthless. Now, why am I so freaked out? We know under Rex 84 they began to build FEMA camps. 
in the 80s. Even before that, they started him under Eisenhower. That was declassified. He spoke out against it and said, I'm not doing this. And he was an establishment guy, but not a total you know, tyrant. He said, beware the military-industrial complex, beware their domestic takeover, beware the technological elite that controls it. That's the full quote. We've played the video here, the film. You always hear about beware the military-industrial complex. He said that's controlled by a technological, a new technological elite. He was brought in on all this eugenic stuff and polio, cancer viruses and the polio vaccine. All of this that we now know, the president was shown that. That's why he's so freaked out. When he gives that speech, something slams, a door slams, and you see him jump like he's about to be killed. He knew what he was doing there, going off script, warning people. Because he had a conscience as an old man, he'd already gotten all the power. He wasn't pure evil. And so he was thinking, I did all this, and now I'm here, and future generations are going to be committed to this? So because we saw the warnings... And because people like McCarthy, you can look at him in hindsight and laugh at him. Think of what he knew then. He did, we didn't know as much then, 60, 70 years ago. Because of that, we got a chance to make some preparations for the final phases of this. We knew because of the creeping death formation of it that it would take time for it to manifest to where the sheep would finally see it. So we had to keep telling them what was going to come next so that when it did uncloak to fire, people could recognize the enemy and would be at the switch to fire back at it. And it's when the globalists emerge, uncloak, when they finally make their big move is that that's when we're in the greatest danger and they're in the greatest danger. And they're uncloaked right now. And if they can acclimate us to accept it, and well, some people go to the camp, you know, they're troublemakers. We got to do what we do during the Depression and the Iran War. If we don't put maximum effort in now that they're uncloaked, they're going to complete the takeover. And then everything that follows, and all the people that say, well, I don't have anything to hide. Uh, I haven't done anything wrong. So what do we have a tyranny? The tyranny wants your labor, wants your money, wants your life. It doesn't matter if you serve them or not. It doesn't matter if you go along with them. Don't you get it? You don't make a deal with these people. You can't. That's the big con game for police and military. You, you, uh, cops call me and say, well, I've chosen a side. And you do need to choose a side. But it's a spiritual decision. But, but, but if you look at it and have discernment, there was no choice. Of course you say no to evil. Because that's the big trick. You can't make a deal with it. So the criminals that have taken over are, uh, know that we're going to get angry and try to bring them to justice and get our government back, and they're not going to let that happen. They're going to try to bring in a hardcore tyranny. People who don't think it can happen here, look at how much has already happened. Well, I'm telling you, it is all going to happen. So it's time to get right with God, and then it's time to take action. Now, remember this article from earlier in the year? Internment Resettlement Special 31E, GoArmy.com. Where they wanted to hire upwards of 100,000 for in the U.S. and overseas jail guards and people to be internment and resettlement specialists, including here in the United States. Now, that's on the Army website. Now, let's fast forward. <clears throat> they had a major camp and former base closure refurbishment, $386 million. Uh, Market Watch of the Wall Street Journal reported. For KBR, Kellogg, Brown and Root, Division of Halliburton, to build three one million man camps at former military bases. Now they've built over 500 in the states, this is all documented, substations to round up 300 to 1,000 at a time, and then to interrogate, debrief, decide if you're released, or sent to the larger center, or sent to a black site for execution. Of course, the locals don't know that, but we've gotten internal documents from random, and now they admit there, there is kill orders as well, and they've said we'll kill citizens. The White House said that last week, and they got kill teams ready. So it's good to know this up front, just because if they launch it, you're going to a death camp, many of you. So there's no point. You're dead already. you got to resist. You understand that, okay? Don't go like the poor Jews and run down in the pit with the women with the babies in their arms and the Nazis just shoot them in the back of the head, okay? Just, just understand as we go to this red level, you got to understand, we tried to avert this as best we could, and we may still do it. But it's real, and it's here, and it's not, they'll probably beta test on Arabs and then some militias, and then it's going to be for everybody. They always roll it out on a minority first. 
Now, continuing, exclusive, government activating FEMA camps across the U.S. So they built all these things and, and, and expanded them in the last few decades. Now they're putting out the contracts in all 50 states for, in some cases, more than 30 camps per state just as processing centers. Checkpoints at the highway, put you in army trucks, take you to the facility. Then you're shipped off to another facility. You're dieseled. You're taken. And they're ready. Brigade Homeland, Northcom, foreign troops, foreign assets, mercenaries, it's on. Infowars.com has received a document originating from Halliburton subsidiary KBR that provides details of a push, and it's a hidden KBR link. It's, they have a link to it. I mean, it was a hidden private link, but it's on their site right now. To outfit FEMA and U.S. Army camps around the United States entitled Project Overview and Anticipated Project Requirements. And it goes on to say they need fences and barricades, and it goes into all the security officers and things. Laundry, food, everything. Within 72 hours notice at hundreds of locations, they're now going to government fund in the billions of dollars the actual manning of the camps. So the camps are going live. They have got operatives in every city ready to go live with the camps with private contractors running it, getting their 20 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver, and with local government, all the systems ready for the economic collapse, the riots, all of it. They're going to let all that roll out and let the public beg for it. And they're going to, as we learned from the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, put the homeless in them first. They're going to have movies, rock and roll music. It's going to, the, the camps are going to be rolled out now. Now, from congressional hearings and other pieces of information we had, we were able to piece together exactly how the FEMA camps were set up, the old military bases, the drills, the insider information. And we knew that they would try to roll it out as they imploded the economy as a place for all the homeless to go. All those that have been kicked out of their houses and the new giant criminal populations. And if Mexico collapses, they admit plans to put millions of people in these facilities on the borders. So it's a constellation of different overlaying cover stories or a cocktail of, of different things. And in Nazi Germany, it was first, well, you're not allowed to have your businesses in this area because you're one of these groups that we have to protect from the public. And now you can't even have your business. And now you're going to live in a ghetto. And then the Nazis would go in and pick up every day whoever they wanted on a list at checkpoints. And then, oh, you're going to a camp where you can be kept safe and you're going to work for a living. And then they were really death camps. So, see, it was always the cover story. It was always the hope that everything was going to be all right. And the Soviets did the same thing. And they killed even more people in these camps than the Nazis did. As they went on for decades and decades longer. And that's how they're rolling them out. You read the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, and it, it explains it to you. And, it's, it, it, and if they roll it out, it'll be on the news. Oh, look at the hundreds of thousands of homeless at this facility. Oh, now there are some troublemakers who get locked up, and they do have to search people, and there are fences around them. But, you know, it's for everybody's safety. And, oh, there were some more domestic attacks. We do have some camps for criminals and an extremist, and in this article, we have the new government documents where they say protesting, period, is terrorism. They tell the cops the First Amendment is terrorism. I have links to it in the article. And so this is the attitude. They're not putting telescreens up for wanted people everywhere and giant signs and FEMA national break-ins over radio and TV for the first time activated with total federal